welcome back to my channel my lovely subscribers today we have a sweet geometry question to solve yes it's sweet because it's very easy very easy but tricky that is if you don't know what to do okay please this is not drawn to scale and this is supposed to be a semicircle and inside the semicircle we have a rectangle of length 16 meters and 12 meters okay from here to here we have x and from here to here we have y now the question says we should find the value find the values of x and y like i said it's very easy yes okay let's add more information to the given diagram this is the center of the circle right so if we call this a call this point b call this point c and call this point d now you know that o a d c is a rectangle and if o a d c is a rectangle then this is a right angle this is a right angle this is also right angle and this is right angle as well also remember that if in a circle of center zero okay a circle of center zero any line you draw from the center to the circumference of the circle is the radius of the circle so if I draw another line from here to here, it is the radius of the circle. And one thing about radar is that they are equal, okay? So if we relate that to this, that means that if I connect the center O to this point C, I'm going to get the radius of the circle. And this point C is important and the most important point here because with that i will form a right angle triangle so line oc is the radius of the circle now remember that oadc is a rectangle and as such the opposite sides are equal so it means that od is equal to ac so it means that ac is also equal to 16 so we have 16 meters here. Now let us draw out triangle OAC. So in triangle OAC, we can see that OAC is a right angle triangle. Okay, so let's draw it out. So if we draw the right angle triangle out, this is right angle. Okay. And from the diagram, OA is 12 meters, CA is 16 meters. So we have OAC, this is 16 meters, and this is 12 meters. Now we can find OC, which happens to be the radius of this semicircle. So if you have watched to this point, I believe you actually love what you are seeing. So please hit the subscription button and turn on the notification bell here yeah, so that you don't miss our videos. So that anytime we upload a new video, you will be notified. Give us a thumbs up if you love what you are doing. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Okay. So using Pythagorean theorem. I don't know why this is turning blue. I don't really know. The weather is not that okay using pythagoras theorem we can say that r squared which happens to be the uh, the hypotenuse of this triangle is equal to 12 squared plus 16 squared okay so r squared is now 12 squared now 12 squared is 144 we have 144 plus 16 squared now let's get that because i don't know that by heart okay i'm going to use a math trick to do this and if you want 
to learn this math trick. I would advise you check my shorts. There are some math tricks there to learn from. So 6 squared is 36. 1 squared is 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So we add to get 256. Okay. So it means that 16 squared is 256. So we have 256. Now we write that R squared is... 144 plus 256 is 400. So R squared is square root of R squared will be square root of 400, right? If we take square root of both sides. Now square, we remove the root sign and we are left with R is plus or minus 20. Now we are going to take plus 20. Yes, the reason is because we are talking about radius, which is a physical something, a length we can see. And the length cannot be negative. So it means that R is equal to 20 meters. Okay, so why do we need that? Remember that from my explanation, that any line drawn from the center of the circle to its circumference is the radius of that circle. And they are equal, right? Remember that... This zero is the center of the circle, and this point is the circumference of the circle as well. Okay, so it means that O from O to P, let's call this point P. It means that OP is also the radius of the circle. Okay, as such, so we can write, but OP is also equal to R. And OP is what? OP is 16 plus X. Okay? So we can say 16 plus X is equal to R. So we have 16 plus X is equal to, and our R is 20, is equal to 20. So let's subtract 16 from both sides. So 16 minus 16, we are left with X is equal to 20 minus 16 is 4. So we have gotten the value of x. Also, also, you can see that OB is also the radius of this circle. Okay? So also, OB is the radius of this circle. OB is equal to R. And OB is 12 plus y. 12 plus y. So we have 12 plus y is equal to r, and r is 20. So we can say that 12, to get y, we subtract 12 from both sides, right? So 12 minus 12 is 0. We have that y is equal to 20 minus 12 is 8. Therefore, our x is equal to 4 and our y is equal to 8. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.